I was hectic because, you know, we didn't know if we were coming or going. It's hard for James Bea and a lot of his neighbors to think back to this housing complex on Boston Post Road. For them, all that's left are pictures and rocks. They sold us out from underneath us. A developer bought the land, now a shopping plaza, and relocated the Ryder Woods residents here to Cascade Boulevard. Just when they started to feel at home, they purchased that land to make sure they wouldn't have to worry again. That didn't last long. And they went to affordable housing immediately to try to uh, avoid a lot of the rules and regulations for the city of Milford. Jim Flynn is all fired up about a proposal to build an affordable housing complex about a quarter of a mile away. There's a lot of mercury on this property in the wetlands, the, the stream, our stream, and our uh, pond. Flynn says he's done his homework and hopes to prove his argument to the planning and zoning board. Has the court papers, the health department consultation before we moved in that proved that 13 out of 16 sediment samples failed. So uh, I hope they take this in consideration. Many of these people do not want to move, so they're hoping neighbors like Flynn are able to persuade the Planning and Zoning Board on June 5th at a public hearing to put a stop to this development. In Milford, Aaron Logan, News 8.